He got a tear from four nine. Back with some more sacrament beans. So last time we were talking about the Yumi about feelings, our feelings and whatnot, and then, you know, she got all wet. Oh, yeah, I don't like you that way, blah, blah, blah. Now we're at the meet and my mom called. Did they see that have a Krabby Grammy on Amy? Uh. What makes you think I'm doing this just to upset you? Well, excuse me. An important part of food farming is in chilling. <laughs> <laughs> is ensuring that your fruit is in optimal condition. <laughs> oh, man. I just want to know how my friend Melons are ripening. Momoko nods thoughtfully to herself. Did she, did she really just use the metaphor like that? If you're so concerned about fruit, perhaps you take a closer look at your own apple. In all retrospect, I'd say Momoko has the melons and then Yumi has the apple. At apples, are you implying something, Amy? Nothing wrong. And you mean it's cold and precise this time. It's kind of scary to watch. It's to another section of the beach. After that last incident, I can just tell that Momoko is trying to escalate things. Why else would she drag me away from the beach? There's one thing she can, can't hide. It's when someone gets on. And uh, Jesus. Oh. 
I'm worried that she's gonna recruit me for a plan. Brisk, strawberry, melon, iced tea. Stuff the shit. Good stuff. Uh, whatever this may be. So is the first thing she does when Amy Man scores a technical victory over her. Now that I think about it, isn't that her approaching me now? Oh god. So, Sanji, would you like to help me with something? Something very secret and special. So I'm afraid we can't. I refuse. It's not often that she hears me say no. Sanji, you haven't let me finish. That's what I want you to do. Mm. How many things? That's so fair. If this is some half-faked revenge plot, I don't want anything to do with it. How do you know? If that's what I'm here as you about, you shouldn't be so presumptuous. It's mean. Oh, I felt bad. Excuse me, there we go. Always with the kill, Momoko. Because I, because I see that looking glint in your eyes. I know when you're up to something, Momoko. <coughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Sunny. She has that look on your face. This is like the time when she commits a human for mine to put mine in the microwave and bake it. If you can just play, it'll taste that chocolate. She said on my faithful neck. <laughs> it's so mean. Needless to say, it didn't taste like chocolate. And I almost got into trouble when Amy's mother came home. Well, whatever it is, I don't want any part of, before I can react, she's right up in my face. A minute or two passes by with, with her just staring at me. Her eyes are watering. But... It was going to be really fun, Sunny. You shouldn't accuse me of planning such evil things. 
y su empresa no es high. Si es a Sniffle. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh my god. Grow a backbone, kid. She immediately stops as soon as I said that. I knew I could tell on you, Sunny. We must hurry before she is back. Before who is back. Oh, I don't know. Santa Claus. Besides, I didn't agree to do anything. So this really is a nefarious plot. The terrible witch of the Eastern Castle, of course. The terrible witch of the Eastern Castle. It's like that silly game of pretend we used to play. And the person who Momoko always was to be the terrible, terrible witch one. Forget it. I'm not having fun with that boy. I mean, you. Fancy. Don't say things like that. You're hurting me so much, Sunny. She means that. Nah. She means some way like a spoiled child who hasn't gotten their way. I'm glad we chose a beach friend away from people today. This would be really embarrassing. It's not going to work if I know you're just plucking up my heartstrings. Oh, Sandy, you're such a good boy. You can't resist when someone else is in distress. That's one of my favorite things about you. This person one of my favorite things is she wants me the problem with handing it back at you, me. Not today, not today. Fine. I'll have to suddenly come up with a new solution. What were you planning in the first place? <laughs> you were gonna take a nice big hole in the beach. I like taking cold. <laughs> now, I wonder how many ways she can use the hole to incapacitate me. Bury her up to her neck, lure her into a pit trap. You still aren't admitting anything, are you? I mean, the word said he. I have no idea what you can possibly be talking about. There's one thing she's good at, it's keeping up her charade long after it's fallen to pieces. Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. Peace out. Hope we'll to see you all next episode.